So hey what is up guys it's Ray's back to YouTube video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to fix lag, FPS drops and every kind of issues regarding Fortnite. There's going to be Windows tweaks, there's going to be Fortnite tweaks, there's going to be every kind of tweaks in this video so I have included lots of tweaks so I hope you guys would enjoy this and I hope it will help you for the best performance possible on Fortnite and yeah before getting started to the video I just want to tell you guys that I'm doing a free battle pass giveaway so if you want to enter that just subscribe to the channel with notifications on, like the video and follow my Instagram link will be in the description and you'll be entered you'll be good to go now let's just get straight into the video all right so what is up welcome back to another youtube video on the channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to fix lag fps drops and input delay and all the other issues you're having with fortnite especially the stutters and there are going to be more tweaks in this video some more windows tweaks some more in-game tweaks so please watch till the end to find out all the tweaks that you can do for the best possible performance now let's get straight into the steps and i'll teach you guys everything to get the best performance possible so yeah let's just do it all right guys so the first tweak is just to search up edit power plan so it's just search up edit power plan and then press enter now once you're here go back to power options and then set the power option to high performance now if you have uh, AMD processor please use AMD high performance so yeah if you have AMD processor set it to AMD Ryzen high performance if you don't just set it to high performance don't use the ultimate performance I just have it but yeah use high performance instead of the ultimate performance if you don't have the option it's okay just set it to high performance alright guys so now I'm going to teach you guys how to optimize your GPU for the best possible performance so what you have to do is just go over to your search button and then type in graphics settings now press enter and you'll be right here all right guys so once you're here what you have to do is just press on the browse button so now just go over where you install fortnite for me i installed it in my c drive so i'm just going into my c drive so c drive program files epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries win64 and then you'll be right here now just click on the fortnite client win64 shipping which is the most sized one and then just double click on it and you'll see this now what you have to do is click on options and then just click on high performance and click on save and you'll be good to go you'll get fortnite the most priority and your gpu will be optimized for fortnite all right so once that's done just head over to your windows button and then go over to settings now once you're here go over to system and then go over to the notifications now turn all the notifications off all right so once that's done just go back and then go over to app all right so once you're here just head over to startup and then disable all the startup apps uh, that you don't need if you need some apps don't turn them off but turn most of the use unuseful apps off so once that's done again head over back then go to gaming so once you're in gaming just turn game bar off captures please turn it off now game mode turn it off but it might help you so you turn it on and then see your performance in game so find the difference see what's best for you and you'll be good to go all right so the next thing that you can do is just go over to your file explorer once that's done go over to this pc right click on it click on properties all right so once that's done head over to advanced system settings all right so once you click that head over to advanced and then go over to performance click on settings and you'll be right here so now just click on adjust for best performance and then check smooth edges of screen font click on apply and then wait for it to apply and just once that's done just click ok and you'll be good to go but guys please be sure to turn on smooth edges of screen fonts as your text will look really bad if you don't turn it on but other stuff are just not needed and it just lowers a bit of performance it's not a very high it doesn't reduce a lot of performance but still it does reduce a bit of performance so if you want the good aesthetics don't turn it off but yeah for the best performance you should turn it off now press ok press ok and you'll be good to to go everything will be saved all right so this tweak helps you to lower your input delay increase your fps and also help you to get a less ram usage so you'll have free a lot of free memory it will help you with input lag and also it will help you with your fps so what you have to do just click the link in the description download this application so just download it and then follow my steps all right guys so once you download it just open it up also if it doesn't open for you there will be like an icon right here next to your microphone and other icons so there will be an icon right here just double click on it and then the application will open all right guys so once you open it what you have to do is just set the free memory is lower than to your half of your memory so if you have 16 gigs of ram set it to 8196 and if you have 8 gigs of ram set, set it to 4096 or if you have less amount of ram just set it to half of your ram once that's done go over to one timer resolution and then set it to 0.5 also check in every custom timer resolution once that's done also check start ILSC minimize check that and also check launch ILC so once that's done click on start click on purge standby list and it will purge the standby list and 
So once that's done, you can just minimize it and it will just run in the background. It will help you to increase your FPS, lower your input delay and all the other good stuff for you and it will just increase your performance overall. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, optimize your graphics card for the best possible performance. So this is only for NVIDIA users. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, please follow this step. So what do you have to do for the best performance possible out of your GPU? Well, just right click on your desktop and then just go over to NVIDIA control panel. Please wait for it to open as it might take some time all right so once you open nvidia control panel you'll be right here now just copy all my settings so I turn off anti aliasing gamma correction so i'm just going to turn it off right now so once that's done again scroll down and you'll see this now open gl rendering gpu just set it from auto select to your graphics cards once that's done again scroll down until you find power management mode now once you're in power management mode just set it from optimal power to prefer maximum performance all right so once that's done again go uh, go over to prefer refresh rate and then set it to highest available and you'll be good to go so now I'll just turn on texture quality filtering quality to high performance now again scroll down and if you if your vertical sync is on turn it off and you'll be good to go press apply and these settings will be applied now once that's done go over to adjust image setting all right so once you're here just check on this and then set it from quality so if it's it's going to be this for you guys so slide from quality to performance once that's done again click on the use the advanced 3d settings press apply and then you'll have the best possible NVIDIA control panel settings. All right, guys, so we're back in the video. Now I'm going to show you guys the best possible settings for Fortnite so you'll get the best possible FPS. So what do you have to do, you may ask? Well, just go head over to your settings. And for window mode, just set it to full screen resolution, set it to your monitor's native resolution. If you're going trash FPS, you can lower it. But yeah, your game will look really bad if you lower it. So for frame rate limit, just set it to whatever you're getting consistently and you'll be good to go. Graphics, now you can set this settings to whatever you want as it doesn't really affect your performance. All right. Right, guys so for the graphic settings please set it set everything to low but you can set your textures to high if you're getting bottleneck by your cpu so if your cpu is bottlenecking your gpu please set your textures to high so 3d resolution this one gives you the biggest performance boost so if you're on a high-end pc set it from 90 to 100 percent if you're on, on a mid-range pc set it from uh, 70 to uh, 90 uh, but you can set it to 100 if you want it doesn't really matter but for the best performance set it to do set it from 6 70 to 90 and if you are on a low-end pc PC, just set to 60 to 70 percent you can go lower but the game will look really really bad so yeah once that's done just scroll down till you till you're here so if vsync turn it off motion blur turn it off show fps turn it on rendering mode try both dx11 and dx12 see what's better for you performance mode is for low-end pc so if you're on a low-end pc just turn on performance mode multi-threaded rendering turn it on gpu crash debugging turn it off latency markers turn it off nvidia low latency turn it on for the lowest latency but turn it off if you want the best possible performance also if you have turned on low latency mode on the nvidia control panel turn it off in the game and if you have turned it on in game turn it off on nvidia control panel latency flash turn it off ray tracing of course turn it off so what you have to do is just go over to your epic games launcher and then double click on it now just wait for it to open Alright guys, so once you're in Epic Games Launcher, just head over to Library and then go over to Fortnite. Now you'll see these three dots. Now what you have to do is just click on them and then go over to Options. Now uncheck the high resolution textures, press Apply and then it will delete the high resolution textures and Fortnite will take less storage. But you're asking me how am I going to optimize it? Well, I'm just going to be giving you guys tips on what you should do and where you should install Fortnite. Alright guys, so I really recommend you guys to install Fortnite on your SSD as SSDs are really faster than hard drives and you'll get a huge performance boost. It also decreases the stars so you'll be good to go. Just install it on your SSD and Fortnite is only 16 gigabytes, so you don't even need to worry about space. So if you only have a 128GB SSD as well, you can still install Fortnite because Fortnite is only 16 gigabytes if you uninstall the high resolution texture which I told you guys to do. Alright guys, so the next step is to go over to settings and then scroll down till you find this. Now, if you find Fortnite, just click on it and then you'll see this. Now, it will just click on additional command line argument. So once you check that, uh, if you see anything written in this box, please clear it. Uh, there's no need of it as Fortnite doesn't even support it. It doesn't even work these days. So don't use it, just remove it and it might give you a FPS boost. So yeah guys, thanks for watching the video. This really took a lot of time, so I would appreciate a like and a sub. So yeah, join my free Battle Pass giveaway, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.